Hey guys, my name is Aaron Garnier. I'm going to show you how to build app icons for uh, Xamarin Forms. Uh, this video is shot in 2021, so this is for API 26 and above Android devices. Uh, not a lot of videos online. They all seem to be outdated. Um, there's new documentation out for Android, um, how to create these icons and how they work on the uh, apps. So I'm going to use the newest documents. So if you uh, like and subscribe to my channel, you'll see some new content coming out in the future. I'm going to show you how to use light and dark mode and Xamarin Forms and uh, some other features, as well as some .NET IoT. All right, so now let's get started. I'm going to open up a new version of Visual Studio 2019 and create a new project. So you see that I'm using the latest version of uh, Xamarin Forms. Um, this one's just going to be called App 7. It's a generic app, and we'll make it a flyout app. So that new project is going to be building. Um, I'm also going to open up a Android Studio app. Um, you can download Android Studio from their website. Just type Google Android Studio and you can download the latest version. And that's where we're going to actually build the icon. So to get started, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the folder layout of Android of uh, Xamarin Forms in Visual Studio 2019. So to better see this, I'm going to zoom in here using this magnifier is probably a better way of doing that but we'll start with that um, bear with me all right so here are your folders so under resources is where your app icons are going to be saved so this is your common information this is your android information and this is your ios information under each one of these mipmap folders is where the icons are going to be saved so you'll see that there's a launcher foreground and an icon in each one of these folders be aware that Xamarin Forms is only going to be pulling this launcher foreground, so I'll show you how the Xamarin Forms actually works to get to you, get you to the actual um, icon and where it loads. So it starts under this main activity form. So under main, I'm going to zoom back out. Under main activity.cs, if you open it up, what you'll notice is that after the namespace, it has a label, which is your app name. So I'm going to change this to app name and your icon. That icon is at mipmap slash icon. So this is again for API 26 and above. That mipmap icon is going to ping your um, version 26 and above folder here. So that's why it's v26 because this is um, available in um, API 26 and above and I'm using 28. So if you look at the folder that that is hitting, it's this dot, oh, I'm sorry, the file it's hitting, it's this icon XML. So if you open that up, right off the bat, you'll see a background and foreground. So background's a color, and foreground is the mipmap launcher foreground. So it'll find in each one of these folders, depending on the size of the application you're, you're running, um, of the phone. So if it's a large tablet, it'll pick a, a larger file than if it's a small phone. Um, so what, you'll, what it does is it'll actually load this launcher foreground. As the foreground, in the background, it's going to load this color. Again, that's just white. Um, you could change that, but how we're going to build this application, you can just keep it the same. Um, if you're, you had a PNG or some file where there's no actual background built on that photo you're putting in, then you would have to change this. So now that you see how the structures lay out, um, it, you should be able to realize at this point, hopefully, that all we're going to have to do is just change the launcher foreground image in each one of these folders, and it will upload um, properly onto the phone. Okay, so the next step is we're going to create the icon in Android Studio. So if you open up Android Studio and you create a new project by clicking File New New Pro File New New Project, you can create any app project here and it will be fine. So we're just going to have a, once you have a project open, you can actually get to the utility that we're looking for. So under RES, you can or any folders, you just click New Image Asset, and you're going to see a bunch of icons here. So what happens is Android Studio will create the icons in the correct sizes for you, which is extremely useful and will make this uh, much faster for you in development. So all you're going to do is, um, as we said before, is you're going to have to create the icon and we're going to call it Launcher Foreground. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that name here and I'm going to name this Launcher Foreground. Um, it'll just make it a little faster later on when you actually uh, build the project if you name it Launcher Foreground because then you can just replace the files instead of renaming everything later on. 
So the first step is you can um, add an image that you create using a um, image creation tool, or you can use clip art. I'm just going to use clip art because that's easy. So let's click click like this airplane as an example. Uh, note that it's licensed. Their license agreements down here. If you want to use it in production, you're just going to have to read that license agreement to see if it's okay. So the next step is to choose a color. Um, what I like to use is this tool called Coolers. And uh, if you just click the space bar when you're on the page and you like the color scheme, you can actually just use those colors on your um, apps. So, so for instance, I'm going to use this, let's use the jungle green as the foreground color and this pale as the background color. So if you copy that, I'm going to change the color of the front icon the front of the icon. So now we're good with that. And now we're going to just change the background color. So it's pretty simple. Um, from there, we're just going to have to save it. So now it's all saved in a folder. So to find the folder, if you just right click this RES and you click show and explore, it'll open up the folder path and you'll see your images are saved. So from here, I'm going to go back into my app and we're going to replace all of these files. So again, if you right click and click open folder in file explorer, we can actually see where all the files are saved in Xamarin. So left is Xamarin forms, right is Android studio, and you're just going to copy and paste over. So we'll start with, um, HDPI and we're going to take our new image and we're going to just drag and drop replace. So I'm just going to do that again for the next folder. As you can see, I'm in MDPI and MDPI. And we're going to just keep replacing the files. Because I made a dud project in Android Studio, it's, I'm not worried about it, but if you're using a real project in both, obviously you don't want to remove the files from the other folder. All right, so now that I've done that, we have all of our icons in Android Studio in the correct places. So now I can close out of Android Studio. I meant to say Visual Studio has all the icons. So if you hover over uh, Launcher Foreground, now we have all of our correct foreground images. Um, icon image doesn't matter at this point because as you can see in the code there was no place that's actually calling that so we're just calling at midmap icon which actually does not call this icon again it only calls this xml where it calls the launcher foreground so from here all you have to do is build the project and see if it works so i'm going to click build build solution and we'll let that build after it's done building, we'll launch the app. Uh, one thing to note is that if it's not loaded and you're using an old project, sometimes you actually have to clean it first. So if you go to build, clean the solution, then rebuild the solution, then close out of Visual Studio and reopen it. But it shouldn't be an issue in this case here. So now let's launch it and see if we have our new icon instead of the X for the Android Studio. So as it's loading, we'll look at a little bit of documentation. So if you want to see where I got this information from, um, under developerandroid.com, guide, practices, uh, you can look up adapt adaptive icons, and it tells you more about square and circle icons and API level 26 and above. It also mentions if you have less uh, API 25 and below, both layers must be sized at 108 by 108. So that's important to know if you um, are using an old version of Xamarin Forms and you're using an old um, Android version, uh, you would actually have to go to the Xamarin documentation and look up specify uh, the application icon and that is under um, Xamarin Android deployment and testing and preparing for release. And this is the old documentation that shows you how to do it um, under this drawable icon folder. And that drawable icon folder is right here and you would actually place your icon in this drawable folder and you would change um, this main activity.cs um, not 
from mitmap slash icon to durable slash icon if you're using an old version. Uh, so that's how you would do that. So now that my emulator has loaded, I am going to pull it up and see if it worked. So this is just your generic flyout page that we talked about before. So if I just lower it, you'll see that my new icon is there. And if I exit out, we'll look through here and see if that icon is here. And it's called app name and it's right up here. So it works successfully. So if that video is useful for you, please like and subscribe.